so third party, we, we saw the, the two press conferences, uh, EA and Ubisoft. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll start with EA. Uh, they announced uh, Mirror's Edge 2. They had, you know, they showed us their sports lineup. You know? um, they had Drake. Uh, <laughs> yep. Can't forget Drake. It's long, at least he didn't perform. He, he stuck yeah. to a monologue, but yeah. they had Drake. Uh, they had uh, what was that Garden Warfare game? The the, oh, yeah. the, the, the Lance, Lance versus Zombies, which, which looked amazing, by the way. Yes, yeah. um, they great showed, way to expand that franchise. They showed, Dragon uh, Age was it Dragon Age Inquisition? Nobody expects a Dragon Age Inquisition. Uh, and the big, the big, the big uh, knockout is the Battlefront. I would say. Well, they showed Battlefield, and they showed the the multiplayer with all the the cool features, and they showed like the freaking building coming down, which. I, I don't know about you guys. It blew my face yeah. off. No, that was amazing. Really like, shit. I mean, I know like Battlefield Three had the destructible environments, but you couldn't take down an entire <laughs> a building. skyscraper. A skyscraper. <laughs> That's just bananas. You know what though? Let me let me be like the jerk or whatever. Do you think it, like it's gonna be regulated to that one building in that one level? You know, I could totally like, see that happening. I can so I, exactly. I could totally see that happening <laughs> happening too. But it was just still cool to see. Like they were in that building going up the elevators, doing all this stuff, and then they jumped out, and then they blew it up. And then it was yeah, just like, was, this building awesome. doesn't exist anymore. You can't just bring it back. <laughs> <laughs> they got so that just would be terrible. Did you see it just pop up like at 50 <laughs> seconds? Boop, here I am. <laughs> building respawn complete. Yep. <laughs> just the building has its own respawn, uh, respawner. Uh, but, uh, yeah, and then, uh, like you said, Lysander, uh Battlefront, that, that two-second... <laughs> it was, was a great teaser. Yeah, two, a two second pants changer, man. That, yeah. that, that <laughs> was like, you oh, just oh. in your pants. Exactly. I it re- happens. Uh, but uh, Mirror's Edge two. Did you say that? Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, yeah. Mirror's Edge two. I mean, it, it did. They had a pretty solid show. I mean, maybe to us, since we're not, not. I don't think any of us are really into sports games. So nope. that kind of I like real sleep. life sports. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I like real life sports too, but I'm not a big sports fan. And I like fake sports, sports like games, wrestling. Yeah. But yeah. I still like what they did with it, though. Oh I yeah, mean, they put yeah. In... And, and it's kind of interesting to see the the, the thing. The... Yeah, I mean they unveiled the uh, two new engines. Um, I believe the Frostbite was for uh, their open world stuff, uh, like Battlefield well, and shit. Oh well, yeah, they they showed that a while ago, the Frostbite three. But yeah, and then. Ignite was the other one that they're using for um for sports games, and they also announced the acquisition of um, UFC, which is the, they've been having a long sort of feud with um, Dana White. As from as far as from what I understand, Dana White tried to get um, UFC partnered with EA previously, but yeah, apparently they weren't a good they weren't considered a, a sport back then. So so basically they got kicked out. So I guess UFC has built itself up enough to that. Um, well, well, it was it. It's funny you mention that because they, you know, THQ bought them, you know, got the rights when EA declined them, and it was funny because what's his name? What's his name? Dana Dana White. Dana, mm-hmm. Dana, yep, Dana, Dana White. White. He would. He talked so much shit about <laughs> EA. It's like, oh, we'll never be with them. We'll never, <laughs> no, fuck those guys. Blah blah, yeah. blah blah. And then now look where he is now. THQ is out of like business. It. He's just eating his words. He's like, oh, man, I'm so happy that <laughs> EA and UFC can bring fight back to video games. <laughs> By the way, I hated his presentation. That He was just like, who likes fighting? I'm like, wow. Yeah. <laughs> this guy needs to chill out. That's funny. This guy it's has... like fighting is the first real sport ever. It's like, it's like, it's like bro, bro, we don't have the energy for this right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I mean, FIFA looked great. Um, finally, NBA Live is coming back. It's hopefully. been a while. Like, they might, <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, it, they like, might yeah. cancel it again. Yeah. <laughs> well, in reality, NBA Live is actually the new NBA Jam. <laughs> 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 but uh, yeah, so I mean, what do you, what do you guys think, uh, Wade? What would anything that stuck uh, out to you? I mean, these third-party conferences, I think, are, like, very whatever to me. But this one was actually pretty good, so that was nice. Um, the two-minute 
Battlefront teaser, I thought that in the realm seconds, of teasers, two seconds. I wish but, it was two minutes. <laughs> yeah, I was exaggerating, but yeah. like, and in terms of teasers, I felt like that was a really good, well done one because I feel like there's bad teasers and there's good ones, and that was a really good one because oh, yeah. it wasn't just the logo; it was a nice little cinematic scene, you know. And in such a, a short amount of time that they, you know, yeah, they just got yeah, it like two weeks ago. It's like, bro, yeah. just do whatever you can, please. <laughs> scribble, scrabble something. If you need to put just a lightsaber turning on, we'll take it. <laughs> uh, Mirror's Edge 2 was nice because people have been clamoring for that for a long time, but I still wonder if that's too little too late, but I guess we'll see. Um, and everything else they showed look great graphically. Uh, EA's on top of these graphics. These Jengas, all their games look great graphically. Oh, yeah. I think that's probably going to make me, once I see those, like when I go into GameStop or Best Buy or whatever, I think once I see those on screen, whatever sports game or, or <laughs> game that they have, I think that's going to convince me. Because that's what's like real with, life with 360. Like when I saw that, that fight, fight night, night yep. that blew my face off. I was like, I, I, my, my brain cannot fathom. His cheeks are shaking in slow motion. There's sweat and sweat. sweat. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah. So what, what would you give it, grade Wade? Uh, I guess I'll just say a B. B. All right. Yeah. What about uh, you, Rico? What'd you think? Um, is Division EA? EA? No, no, that's 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 Ubisoft. We'll we'll get to that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, they lost a good one there. But I, okay, <laughs> I would give um. <laughs> I would give EA. Uh, I'd probably give them a B. They they had a pretty nice spread overall between the different genres, except for RPGs. Well, actually, no, the no, Dragon Age. Dragon so Age. yeah, so I'd give them a nice solid B. It was a very very good presentation. They had pretty much something that everybody could want. If you like sports, there was something for you. If you like RPGs, hey, you know Dragon Age. If you like shooters, we have a plenty of those. So they did a really good job of appeal. Also, Mirror's Edge, which is. Um, Huge fan favorite that people have been asking for yeah. for a long time. So I think EA did a really good job of going in there and delivering delivering multiple different types of games that people can look forward to in the upcoming future. So uh, I give them that shit. It was nice. I heard this also, screams. yeah, I was trying to talk over that shit. <laughs> <laughs> but um, the cool thing uh, I liked about EA is that they... um. Oh, uh, it seems like the plot for the new Dragon Age, it seems like it has uh, like a, two different endings, which is that you get to either save the world or lead it to ruin. So that I'm intrigued about. So I'd like to hear a bit more information about that in the upcoming months. Right. What about you, uh, Lysander? I'm going to go with a, a B and jump on the, the Rico bandwagon and say pretty much they <laughs> well, were... I started it with it. Yeah, he, wait. <laughs> they were... They wait, were... <laughs> a hipster, man. He, like, he beat them before everybody else did. No, I'm saying the, the whole Rico, where he's like, they pretty much hit everything. Uh, one game that we are all forgetting to mention is they had the new Need for Speed. So oh, they yes. had right. they had a Rivals. racing, they had sports, they had a shooter, they had like a solid game for each genre. They even had uh, the, the a strategy game with the Plants vs. Zombies, so they were they were true. Yeah. pretty well, much they tackled every sort of spectrum like we left they left no stone unturned so i'm gonna give them a solid b because they they were everywhere they hit all the points they needed to hit and it, it wasn't boring surprisingly and if you like uh movies they also have need for speed the movie that they announced. <laughs> yeah <laughs> wah, wah. uh but uh yeah i, I i'm gonna I, i'll i'll give them a b plus Fuck you guys. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> i'm feeling edgy better. uh yeah i i think they, they they're, they're, they have a, they showed us a small amount of games. I mean, it was like eleven games, and they seem they all seem pretty good from what they showed. I mean, I, again, I'm not a big sports fan, but I can see the appeal to sports fans, I guess. Um, and you know that they showed Mirror's Edge, which which is I mean, Mirror's Edge one was was really good, and I'm wondering what they're going to be doing if they're going to continue it or maybe reboot it or you know give it another shot. And, yeah, there uh, wasn't a two at the end of the title. Was oh, just... there wasn't even a title. It was just the the the, the logo. Um, but uh, what else was there? And then you know, of course, Star Star Wars, which made me happy in pants. Uh, <laughs> the happy pants dance. Yeah, the happy pants <laughs> dance. Yeah, that I you know, a little 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 squeal, but um, yeah, definitely solid. Uh, solid press conference so let's yeah let's move on to ubisoft which i don't think it was too solid in my opinion yeah, no, I nothing compared to you. last year oh yeah when you then again it's like we we put them up on that pedestal last year because everybody, <laughs> everybody else did was so terrible. terrible yeah 
Um, so yeah, what did they 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 showed they showed a few CG trailers. Um, they showed the uh, Assassin's Creed Four. They showed Watch Dogs. They showed Rayman Legends. Is that what it's called? Rayman Legends. Yeah. Okay. They showed the CG trailers for that, and for some reason that that Viking chick had bouncing tits that they they <laughs> needed to make sure everybody saw. It's like, hey guys, guys, guys. They bounce. <laughs> <Did> <laughs> Gravity you know is definitely. Gravity is taking their uh, toll here. Um, then they went into freaking Just Dance again, which they always do, which is the pressing. And then they had what was it? Rock, Rocksmith, Rock, Rocksmith, rock, yeah, rock, whatever. There balls. was that uh, Rabbids game. That the Rabbids game for the Xbox One or whatever that you can freaking shoot the the rabbits because it's on TV or whatever. <laughs> um, and it's gonna be on Nickelodeon. Another reason why that channel is going down the freaking tubes. Uh, what what else is there? Um, then they, they had showed a, the crew, right? The crew, right? Which was. Eh. <laughs> do we need another racing? Game? Yeah, do we need another? Like, I, I felt like I was getting beat over the head with racing games, and I just like by by freaking Need for Speed, I was done. I'm like, I, I don't need any more racing games in my life. I'm done. Freaking Drive Club it was the exact same thing as, or excuse me, the crew was the exact same thing as like all the other ones, but this one you can travel around in a sandbox that is vaguely vaguely resembles american uh, locations <laughs> <laughs> oh this is just like That's yellowstone the worst description if... <laughs> of a game I've ever that was so vague it's a, a car they drive things on places that but it's true like though but they're, they're, the whole point of it was like oh you can go throughout you know all these cities in America and all these, you know, special landmarks or whatever. And it's like, oh, you can go to Yellowstone. Yeah, if Yellowstone was maybe like a mile away from a, a square mile, you know, it's just like, really, this is the smallest Yellowstone I've ever seen. It's like, oh, here's Miami. If it was only three streets, you know, it's just <laughs> like, oh, and then you could switch out the tires so you could go off road and do stuff. It didn't seem good. I guess it's because it's like every new system, they just throw all these racing games at you. Because oh, racing course. games always showcase new graphics in right. a really good Sports way. Sports and racing, yeah. Yeah. And, you look uh, so pretty. And then, and then the big finale? And then the big finale, which again, yeah. they, which saved them, I think. Because that press conference it was like PlayStation's or Sony's. I mean, and then the, the, what was it? The, the, the division? Tom Clancy's division. The division? Yeah, the division. Which looked amazing, which is that That's MMO. Shit. Yeah. yeah what, that, I'm sorry, it's an MMO? It's an MMO. Yeah. Wow. Fuck. I might have, oh, Third person good. RPG. I might Shooter. have to play that game, bro. Shooter. MMO. <laughs> MMO. <laughs> Get all the genres and shit together. Yeah. Which, I mean, graphics-wise... I mean that blew my face off more than Watch Dogs did back when yeah. last year. Uh, but yeah, this uh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I love what they're doing. Interaction, you know, in the characters have. Yeah, the animations and all that stuff. Yeah. The, the weapons, like the little roly poly bomb, the little um, turret oh, that he just like sets up on the car that he just auto rapes everyone around it. Yeah, they had a healing um, class and all that stuff. I, I love the what they're doing with the UI and the the little three D map that you can walk into the displays like the whole city underneath. Oh you. yeah, yeah, that was definitely cool. And then they, they again with the, if they have tablet integration. With yeah, the, the, the cross platform playing. Yeah. That's gonna be the future right now. It seems like yeah. the future trend. Yeah, I actually it seems kind of interesting, man. I, I hope it. I hope it's not just super gimmicky. <laughs> Hello? Not just super gimmicky. I hope it's actually a legitimate thing that, you know, it, it actually adds depth to the game when you play it. And it starts just like, hey, look, I can touch a button on my tablet. Missile. Yeah. Um, but well, yeah. We're all super excited for the game, though. The Division looking really sweet. Looks really good. What do you think about the, the press conference as a whole, though? Uh, go ahead. Um, I will I will give it a, uh, a C. A C, yep. Wow, it would be nice, I think. Um, wow! <laughs> wow! Holy it? crap! No, I mean they, they didn't they didn't show too much new per se, but the division is a is a big savior right there. But you know they, they still had a, a Assassin's Creed, and they had Rayman, and they had Watch Dogs, and those are just three solid games that you know they 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 need to showcase. They showcased them. They were pretty interesting. Well, they didn't show the the actual games, so they just showed yeah. The trailers. I'm, 
it's, you know, still just, you know, it's their game. I mean, they, those games might appear on, you know, other people's press conferences, but, you know, it's their, it's their right. you know, their game. So that I was pretty, you know, excited for that. And But, again, the division. I think I'd give it the C just because of division. That game uh, just looks interesting. You know, it looks very fresh, very new, you know, very – never seen anything like that before. Um, and I, I don't know. I enjoyed it. So C for me. What about you, Rico? I'd give it like um, a B minus. I think I definitely love what they're doing with the division. I mean, the fact that it's an MMO. I didn't. I I, did, I wouldn't even be able to tell you that from looking at the from watching that trailer, or maybe I would if I had listened. But I like the <clears throat> I like what they were doing with all the innovations and things they have with their UI. Like I mentioned earlier, just um the cra- cross platform integration. I really hope that's a thing that continues. You know, I mean, people on tablets and. And people on cell phones doing cool, having cool little side portions, side parts in the actual game. And especially if you can link those things, especially to your main game. And let's say, let's say I have the division, but I have, you know, an iPhone app that allows me to play on the same account that I would on my on my actual console, and I can do different things on the iPhone than I would be able to do on the on the console. I think that would be a really really awesome and unique. It, it really expands the gameplay opportunities that you can have, and it's innovations like that that I really like to see push gaming forward. So, based on the strength, like like Sanders said, based on the strength of division, I I'm very confident in that. But a lot of the other stuff, I wasn't really too hot for. Um, <laughs> they they unfortunately had um, uh, what do they call it? Assassin's Creed Black Lag. How unfortunate they had lag in the name of the title. But other than that, you know, it, it was pretty good. They had a little, a couple of technical difficulties here and there, which is kind of to be expected. But I give them a B minus. Nice. B minus. Oh, wow. All right. What about you, Wade? I'm gonna be a bully and give it a big fat F. Wow, wow. Tina. <sighs> Everything George said about the crew, I agree. <laughs> um, just dance. Who cares? Um. Assassin's Creed 4 and Watch Dogs were all over the place in the other conferences. Then need to see it again. Right. Um, especially Assassin's Creed is just, to me, is just like on this overload of like, isn't just everyone just tired of it? Like in general, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Assassin's Creed comes out every year, and every year they got to show a new game, and they all look the same. It's like, come on, it's. It's getting really exhausting with that franchise, and I'm scared that the same thing is going to happen to Watch Dogs. I could totally see Watch Dogs coming out every year. <laughs> or every other year, you know. I um, can see that. Now, they, um, the Tom Clancy game, I already forgot the name of it now. The Division. The Division, the Division I'm sorry. The Division, um, the gameplay did look good to me, but I wasn't as taken aback or amazed by it as you guys uh, seem to be. It seemed like... You know, it's a cool idea and it's a cool premise, but I enjoyed the premise and like the trailer before the gameplay a lot more than I did with the gameplay. Because I thought like, man, this is a really cool story. This is really interesting. Um, But besides that, that was the only one thing I enjoyed. So I'm giving it an F. Flunk. Do uh, not come back to E3 with this garbage. (laughs) (laughs) Damn. (laughs) But would have been good. Is Rainbow Six Patriots, which I've always been interested in. Yeah, I was wondering where the hell did that go. Um, what would have been good is um, something with Far Cry, because Far Cry 3 was like, you know, it, it did really well for them. Um, just any announcement, even if it was just a teaser about a new Far Cry, um, stuff like that, I would have enjoyed. How about somebody coming on stage and explaining why we needed another Assassin's Creed would have been cool, too. <laughs> but because one person pirates. dedicated, just like... <laughs> And well, oh, uh, you guys one, like pirates, right? <laughs> one thing and that they didn't like show, uh, Prince of Persia. There was rumors that they were going to show Prince yeah, of Persia. That, game. that never showed. Well, I'm kind of glad they didn't. I mean, the division was a much bigger surprise, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, I, I would, uh, I wouldn't give it an F. I mean, they did show the division. Division was nice. I mean, the trailers that they showed were pretty cool. So I'd probably give it like a C minus. Uh, Alicia Tyler. Mm. Oh, her too, man. Oh, she's. I mean, she's funny <laughs> at times. I mean, she did. She did the best, though. She did the best I she mean, could do with. Yeah. yeah, she didn't have a lot of material. That's she true. didn't have. The, yeah, she didn't have much to work with. But uh, yeah, it, it was. It was okay. It wasn't the greatest. Thank, thankfully, it was over quickly, and you know. 
But uh, yeah, I would, I'd give it a, a, a C minus. But uh, let's let's go more in depth. Just just in general, like what, what games out of all of E three, you know, it could be first party, third party, whatever. What games did you see with all the videos, all the gameplay, all that stuff? What what games really stuck out to you? What are you most excited about in the whatever? Can we also bring up like moments that we liked? Or moments, yeah, moments is fine. Uh, just it's just E three. What did you like out of it? <laughs> Uh, Rico, go. I liked um, Final Fantasy 15. Um, I've been watching videos of Versus 13 for years. I'm hoping, wishing it would come out. I love the live action style of RPG fighting, and I really, I'm like, very, very excited to see what kind of leveling system they're going to use for this game. And it's just been so long since I've had a very, very satisfying Final Fantasy, and I'm very much hoping. Hoping that this is what they're going to deliver. I hope it's not bogged down with lots of ridiculously stupid story that it, that is just needlessly overcomplicated like 13. I hope they don't um, decide to do some crazy non-working fighting system like Final Fantasy 12. And hey. I, hope they... I, yeah, they I believe in Rico. <laughs> yeah, oh that, 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 that Gambit system was, was, was garbage. But in the end, I would very much like to see... Uh, I'm, I'm excited for that Final Fantasy because I, I want Square to redeem themselves, man. I feel like they've been putting out a lot of lackluster Final Fantasies over the years, and that's that's not their way at all. So uh, I was glad that Tetsuya came on and he announced that shit because he's pretty much the flagship for all those games that that kind of you know keep the, keep that entire team together. So I, I'm excited for that mostly out of all of what I've seen. But, and other than that, I'm also glad for the the technology and the innovation that I'm seeing. Because I'm always for progressing games to to forward into the future, man. I want to do stuff in games I've never done before. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 we're all used to controlling things more or less the same way. So I'd like to, I'd like to see people coming up with stuff that I can barely even conceive of, conceive of right now. That's what I want to see. But that is actually enjoyable and not just some useless gimmick that I'm just going to be like, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the hard part, you know, making yeah. sure it's not too gimmicky. Uh, so you would say your your game of the show was Final Fantasy XV? Yes, but that's ridiculously biased, but absolutely. Yeah, okay. All right. No, that's cool. Uh, what about you, Lysander? Game of show, any you know moments? I'm, I'm going to pick uh, three three tidbits. Uh, okay. Number one was the Xbox One conference. Overall, that was the start of the whole E3, and it, it just showed me what next-gen gaming you know is capable of. Graphically-wise, gameplay-wise, just technology-wise... It, everything just was was where it needed to be. I was extremely impressed, and I was like, "Wow, you know, I'm I'm ready. I'm excited for next gen gaming." Uh, tidbit number two is uh, I'm gonna go with Rico as well. Is is just that Final Fantasy 15. Um, unlike most people, I am a true uh, JRPG player. I I love JRPGs. I'm gonna stick with JRPGs. And Final Fantasy 13 kind of deterred me a bit. Was like, oh no, JRPGs, what are you doing? But I, I still, I still like. What are you doing, like, JRPGs? I still like the Nino Kuni. I still like the Tales yeah. uh, series, and I, I, you know, Final Fantasy 15 looks like it's gonna bring the JRPG back. Like it's bringing it back, so I'm excited for that. And tidbit number three is a uh, Smash. Uh, I am a huge, enormous Smash player, so huge that, enormous. yeah, huge enormous. <laughs> that that trailer made me moist. Like, <laughs> um. They, they released, you know, can keep it wet. They, they they released a few more tidbits afterwards, and they're saying that the speed of the Smash Brothers is going to be a little bit more closer closer to melee. Uh, yes. They got rid of tripping. Uh, yes. He said there's going to be no touch controls, so it's, it looks like it's leaning more towards melee. And melee might be one of my favorite games of all time. Excellent. So it, it's looking like a it's looking like a good game. And the big huge thing is the Wii U trainer. Like I hate yes. troll characters, but, <laughs> but she trainer. looks amazing. Like she, she looks amazing. They made her work so well. She does push-ups, she does backflips, she does yoga, yoga moves. Everything is just fitness based. So Smash, Final Fantasy, and Xbox One. Awesome. Man. Wow. Well, Xbox One, the system or the presentation? The, the the conference. Okay. I'm just making sure. We gotta clarify that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what about you, Wade? 
I want to start this off with uh, I'm going to give a shout out to the Battlefield guy during the Microsoft <laughs> conference for delivering the funniest part of of E3 when the trailer quiet. wasn't starting and he yelled quiet to the crowd was like making fun of it. And afterwards, after it played, you could just look at the expression on his face that he was so annoyed, like he just wanted to get so far away from that stage and those people. So oh, that was the good. funniest part. So I applaud him for that. Thank you. Um. Good. I'm going to I'm going to reiterate uh, what these guys are saying in that uh, the Microsoft conference, I gave an A grade and I hope moving forward, every conference from now on at E3 follows that formula because they nailed it. That is how E3 should be. Um, no information, also, just game. Yeah. Um, <laughs> also, Metal Gear Solid 5 by default is going to be my favorite trailer of the show. I'm a huge Metal Gear Solid fan. That is my all time favorite series. And the trailer absolutely blew my mind and melted my mind. Still a little upset about David Hayter not being in there, but that's okay because the game looks amazing. Um, and also, like Rico and Lysander, I am a huge Final Fantasy fan. I am a JRPG fan as well, but Final Fantasy comes first. It is a series I just absolutely cherish. Number two, right below Metal Gear Solid. And um, although I didn't hate 13 and 12 as most people did, I have been disappointed by them in some shape or form. So 15, I just hope and pray, is the epic return of it. And the gameplay trailer is what is where it really clicked for me, and it just looked like... My dreams had come true. Um, the Sony reveal, as in the price and the no DRM. I love that moment because I really feel like we witnessed gaming history there. I really think that was a watershed moment that like five or six ne- years from now, when we're at another new console generation or whatever they're going to be in the future, I think they're going to look back at that moment. It was the opposite of the, uh, <laughs> the other, 599 US other dollars. moment of <laughs> price. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, so like I just love that, and the crowd's reaction. It, it to me that was gaming history right there. And besides that, my games of the show, it's a tie between Dead Rising Three, which I was really impressed with. Wow. Like I never liked Dead Rising before, but that game totally got me into it, and I was like, I need to play this. And I and I'm saying Dead Rising Three because they had a lot of substantial gameplay, like some of the other stuff. Like, right. I, I don't know if FF15 is really going to look like that. I'm right, still right. a little, you know, sketchy. But I know that Dead Rising 3 is going to look like that. And the game I tie that with is Infamous Second Son. I saw the gameplay of That's it right. and was blown away by Infamous Second Son. It looks it, it looks amazing. Very true. Nice. Yeah. Um, as for me, I think uh, I think the biggest surprise to me was was Titanfall. Like, um, yeah, it, it's it's it's. it's Titanfall and The Witcher 3. However, a lot of the footage that The Witcher 3 that, that was shown it was shown behind curtains, so which is why I can't give it the. But from what I hear and all the things that kind of leaked out, that game is going to blow my eyeballs off visually <laughs> because apparently they were showing like uh, they had. I'm pretty sure you know like the, what what is those videos called the. They're like the six second things. That every, it's becoming, it's like Instagram, the but with videos. Vine? Vine, yeah. There's like a Vine oh. video. For, I guess somebody recorded and uh, they were showing a wolf from like, you know, this current gen or whatever. And then they show a wolf from for next gen and you just see all this fur, like more fur than wolves should ever have. But it just <laughs> looked amazing. Like, this looks better than real wolves in real life. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I mean, uh, from what I'm hearing about Witcher Three, I think th- it, it that game is is gonna be huge. Like it's gonna be really really good. And uh, and Titanfall again, that, that that was a big surprise to me. I didn't think it was gonna be you know that mind that blowing. Looking. Yeah, I, I, I mean, it, visually it looks okay. Like it kind of looks like a between Xbox 360 and Xbox you know next gen type of thing. Like it's yeah. caught in the middle because I think they were originally developing it for 360, but it was like yeah. a bit too much. So well, maybe yeah. it still looks better because it's a ways off. Right. I mean, it, well, it's not that far off, but I mean, it could look better. Um, but yeah, the gameplay looks actually really, really good, and yeah, uh, and that that blew my face off on on Xbox One's press conference. You know, Killer Instinct was good too, but yeah. Um, yeah, that's, that's good. E three overall. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. What would you give? Let's let's do that. Um, <laughs> wow. Grade the E three. This year's E three. 
E3, I'm going to go uh, A minus. A minus. Wow, nice. I mean, this this E3 is is going to be a ridiculous E3. We have two huge, huge uh, consoles. We have the Xbox One and the PS4, and you're not going to get you're not going to get that you know very often. So I would right. say A minus. What about you, uh, Wade? I'm going to also say A- minus based on that I think of its uh, historical value. I think this E3 is going to be remembered fondly and looked back upon in terms of gaming history. And we saw tons of great new things. The big thing about this E3 is that everything seemed new and fresh. And it's exciting and it's a great time to be a gamer. So I have to give it an A. What about you, uh, Rico? I would also give it an A. <clears throat> This E3, you had a little bit of everything. You had disappointments. You had um, just complete blowouts. You had shocking, shocking developments. You were everything. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I like it because, like, like Wade said, we're not going to see um, two powerhouses get to duke it out again for an unveiling for probably another decade. And given the changes that one of them tried to make, I, I think this one definitely put um, th- this E3, as far as like the overall atmosphere and like uh, uh, just... Just like the energy that's going on in this E3, I think is is a lot more than you're gonna get in um, future generations for a little while. Yeah. Actually, no. Get next year should probably be exciting because that's when people are gonna be into the systems. But now I, I love what they they unveiled a lot of new things that I wanted to see. They un- unveiled new titles, new um, systems, new engines, everything. So I, I thought this one was very exciting. It, yeah, I, I, you can really ask for more. There were disappointing patches here and there, but overall, I think it was very, very solid. So I definitely give it an A. Yeah, I, and I agree. A minus. Everything you guys said pretty much summed it all up. Um, disappointments, lots of really, really good points. Uh, you know, it was a good show. Uh, yeah. and it, it, there was some really awesome points to it, and that was. It was, like, it was definitely a roller coaster. Yeah, it was. It was an emotional roller coaster. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of like what that Battlefield guy went through. It was an emotional <laughs> roller coaster. Wait, wait. Quiet. Quiet. <laughs> wait, we're still going? Oh, 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 wait. I guess you guys can see it after. Wait, we're, we're going to continue? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay, guys. <laughs> Speaking of that, the Panzer Dragoon, uh, the, the, the Crimson Dragon people, yeah. they did that like a boss. Like, no audio? Play that shit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we don't need it. Well, there was it nobody looks pretty stage, enough, man. Though. Like, there was nobody presenting it. It was just like, hey, here's Crimson Dragon. <laughs> Silence. <laughs> Did I just go deaf? What, what's going on? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, but um, guys, you know, listeners, thank you for uh, listening. Um, sorry, we, we got this out a little late. Uh, thank you for all of your feedback on, yeah. on Facebook. Yeah. Keeping all, all your feedback. And stuff rolling. Much exactly. appreciated. This is, this is what we like to see. And, you know, at we like to see uh, you guys root for your favorite systems or your favorite games and all that stuff. I mean, this. We also like to see your shit on systems you don't like. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's been happening. And also challenge me to uh, fights and stuff and duels and arguments and stuff like that too. Um, but uh, yeah, thanks. Thanks again. Don't forget to you know, like and subscribe and share and you know the, the whole deal. And, uh, you know, uh, I can't wait to do this again next year with you guys. Uh, this was this was pretty awesome. And... E3. E3. <laughs> That's a wrap. <laughs> Can you do that? Right. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? <laughs> Quiet. Quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet. <laughs>